you may travel far, far from your own native home. Far away are the mountains, far away are the foam. But of all These cliffs and imagined space conjured here in a space far, far away from the place we long to be. On a journey through space and time, a number of, I make my way to Tory Island. Having a tenacious hold on the human imagination, the island, a symbolic representation of the calm beyond, the chaos surrounding our everyday. Proposal explores a series of spaces for exchange and reflection through moments of sound and silence, augmenting the experience of the landscape of this rock in the middle of the ocean. The island, idealistically portrayed in our mind, is both aspirational for some and a site of much hardship for others. The parting is only the beginning of a long journey home, if not physically, then emotionally. The threshold to another world, distant, calm, we find opportunity to contemplate and find new beginnings. Isolated off Ireland's northwest coast, the island makes the most of its three and a half square kilometres. Islander, visitor or musician, we all pass through the same point. A lifeline to the island, the pier is fundamentally tied to the island's economic development. Tourism, the island's main revenue. Restricted fisheries could be bolstered by craft kelp production. Tory's unique musical style, a destination for musicians. Beginning at the pier, the arrivals hall provides an exchange point to shelter before setting off. Harbourside, a fishing and leisure facility. A place from where to explore Tory's coastline. Upturned Curric boat holes resting on the shore give a vocal point for this hive of shared spaces. Rising from the ocean, the arrival hall captures the sound of the sea. At the head of the jetty, the boat shed links to the main street. Early spring, the fishers prepare for the season. Leaving the house on a cold morning, the boatman checks on his boat before heading down along the jetty to catch the boat out to sea. Midsummer, the first boat has just arrived. The arrivals hall is busy with excited anticipation. Arriving and departing island and the visitors exchange tales of island adventures. Later that summer evening, the visitors will pass the fishery shed in a revived economic venture for the island. The buildings will reinvoke a vernacular tradition of kelp harvesting and the marketplace for craft produce. The voice of the island. Tory Island hosts skills of the unique Donegal style, one of many across the Celtic region. Tunes are geographically enriched as they travel, in a regional network of traditional music hubs. It is proposed that Tory Island be a centre for the Donegal style. In the oral tradition, the tunes are exchanged by sight and sound, hosted by spaces of focus and exchange. Like the music, the architecture learns from its local context. Sheltered by its Oyster Creek gable end wall, arriving from the east, the textured pathway gives a sense of arrival. In plan, study halls look seaward, spilling into communal hall for musicians to exchange, before spilling into the informal social club hall. An opportunity to play with islanders. Rising from the granite, Oyster Creek walls and Lime Creek floors rise off. Lime bound stone foundation, cast Lime Creek gutters drain a tin roof. A rhythmic pathway links the four buildings on a journey from sound to silence. From the beginning, the wanderer generates their own tune, stepping from granite to gravel in varying width. Frequency of surface changes occurs at key sites and directional change. Crossing the central grasslands, home to the corn creek, I quietly pass the bird hide, one of two low-lying monolithic structures. Out here on the Atlantic's edge, I seek shelter before returning home again.